Five again? Should be. Yay! Perfect. Same title on the rest of things. I don't know if it'll still work on Facebook. Looks like it's working now. Okay. <laughs> no music. We're doing great. Wait, Brock, you can sing now. Let's try this again. So uh, welcome back, friends. Our video was immediately tagged and uh, blocked, so we are back without music. Which is fine. Which is fine. We'll just talk fine. amongst ourselves. We're not mad about it. Someone can send us music or something that's allowed to be used. Next time, talk amongst next time Sarah has strep throat, I'll bring my guitar <laughs> <laughs> and I will just play some originals. How is there not a guitar here already? Well. I want like a little ukulele. Thank you, everyone, for the love. Uh, I think that might actually all just be my wife. It looks like it's all Molly. But thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the thank you for the love, Molly. Also, just a fun fact: um, Sarah's husband's name is Michael, uh, and not Keenan nor Brock. So, <laughs> I just know that's a common misconception. Uh, we're all pretty tight, but she has a she has a real husband, and his name's Michael, and he's great. He's the number one husband. Number one husband. Brock and I are like three and four. I don't know what that means. <laughs> this is Keenan's wife right here, oh, yeah. Suzanne. <laughs> so. That's why it's okay to uh, Carrie Kelly, this apron was made for me by my mother-in-law. It was a Christmas present. It has guitars on it, this f white fuzz. Guitars and ties and other dad, husband type things. And she even included a nice pink stripe right here. <laughs> because she knows that I love the color pink. In fact, I have an electric guitar that is hot pink. I mean, it is hot pink. So the story on the apron. Hello from Pennsylvania. <laughs> she has a real husband and a bunch of four cousins. Wisconsin, I've been to Wisconsin. It was nice. West Virginia, Press Virginia. Keenan and Brock are work husbands. That's true. Keenan and I are work and play husbands. Yeah. Oh my God. They're real life husbands. So. <laughs> Holly, glad that uh, you and your daughter are with us. Welcome. Georgia. Heidi Stock. Hey, oh, Heidi. Heidi. Wendy Mills. Shout hey, out Wendy. to some friends. Illinois, North Carolina. Kimberly, thank you. I am a real man. Wyoming, Arizona. I get to say it like that. She said you're a real man, Brock, and I just I felt good to hear it. Uh -oh. A guitar portrait? Huh? Huh? Yeah. That'd be a good one. Yeah. Pittsburgh. Just we have Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, on, on YouTube. East hey, Texas. Brock, yeah. We did just get another notification from the, I don't remember what it said, some group. Uh, Facebook that says your video is partially muted because it may contain music that is not owned by us. We have no music right now. No music. No music. Please listen to Facebook government. We are not <laughs> music. We do not, not anymore. We learned our lesson. The punishment was swift. St. <laughs> Joe, not far away. St. Joe. A lot of people hate on St. Joe, but you know, I'm a big fan of the East Hills Mall. <laughs> it's true. If I can get some of those pink shorts made, that'd be great. Liberty, Missouri, not far. Pink shorts. Uh, yeah, she says she used to make her husband oh, pink Becca, shorts. Oh, hi. I love, I love pink shorts, I wear 32. I wear, I'm not saying, but if you could put some <laughs> elastic in the waistband, <laughs> I'm sure they'd be great. Oh, man. It's got New York on YouTube. Wow, New Mexico. Have you apologized for the breathing? Al oh, says he can yet. still hear. Okay. Good, good. Yay. You can hear us talking and also my breathing. That's going to be Yay. in this video as well. Raven. Hi, Raven. Is Sarah going to tune in and heckle? I sure hope so. <coughs> Oregon. Bernadette. Great name. And also great state. They want to see you again. Who? Is that Keenan, can you come uh, just show your face real yeah, quick? Al says he wants to see Keenan. <clears throat> I want to see Al. <laughs> Here we got uh, the whole family. 
<laughs> so I've known Brock for several years. <laughs> and also Suzanne, oh, your wife. And Suzanne. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. We got just a few more minutes here and then we'll get started. Pompton Plains, Oklahoma, Washington, Carol Henderson. Carol is a very sweet lady. Oh, Carol. When I was Hi, living, Carol. I was living in Nicaragua and she sent me a big box of goldfish. What? And that might not seem like an important thing, but they didn't have any goldfish there. I tell you what, it was really nice. And I've never forgot that. And I will. Oh, Carol, you're the best. She is so sweet. Aww. School for the deaf. So great. That's cool. <clears throat> Becca Keenan. You see that? Galen, uh, your son's name is Brock. That's great. Middle name, not Lee. Jerome. So close. <laughs> Brock. Holy. <laughs> I love this game. Hey, Priscilla, you lived in Nicaragua. Puro Pinalero. Burnt Hills, New York. Sounds nice. Eagle Mountain. Utah. Heard of that. Three minutes to countdown. That's true. Oh, Poland. Oh, oh you have YouTube. That's why I like, I Mary's know. monitoring the YouTube <laughs> comments. Man, I just, I'm really sad we can't have our jams going anymore. I know. It was kind of a tradition. <clears throat> you guys are getting too big. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> it's never happened when Sarah was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Nolens, West Virginia, <laughs> Suffolk. Saratoga Springs, New York. Cocoa Beach. I'd like to be there right now. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a nice, it's a balmy 40 degrees outside here Hello, right now. Yeah. I can't do that. Uh, the nurses at the School of the Deaf want to know how Sarah is. Uh, she's getting some rest. She, I think she's doing okay. She got some medicine in her, saw a doctor. Um, so hopefully she'll be up to full speed. We just... We, didn't, we wanted her to get better, and also I think she's very contagious. So not only for her health, but also ours, it's good that she stays home and, uh, and, uh, and gets better. Missouri's sick right now. Yeah. We'll grab for that. Alabama. <laughs> Sarah's on, and she says thank you for the iPhone stand, this one that I'm currently taking advantage of, so thank you. We did receive so many nice uh, Christmas cards from all sorts of people. We got lots of nice little gifts from people. It was just fantastic. Hand-painted postcard. Yeah, they were just beautiful. So many of them. I wasn't expecting them. Um, I don't think Sarah was either. So when the first one started to roll in, and it was amazing. They just kept coming. They just kept coming. It was just so sweet to see people actually took time to paint and then write an address on and then send their artwork to a, a business, a company, uh, it was just it was just amazing to me so we appreciate all those um all those cards and those gifts and those thoughts is it about that time redford new york one minute but sure massachusetts <sighs> okay one minute according to my watch it's time so welcome everybody thank you for joining us this is let's make art our live paint along uh, my name is brock barton filling in for the wonderful sarah cray who's stick with strip um now a little disclaimer she is a very this is your first time sarah normally does these and she's a fantastic artist she's the ones that she's the one that designs all the products that we do every week very talented and she, th these lives are actually very useful to help learn some techniques now she's sick she found out today we didn't want to cancel the show must go on i am not an artist i like many of you am new to this and so this won't be as educational as it is when Sarah is normally here. So I just want, if it's your first time, I don't want you thinking that we're, we're normally this goofy and that we don't know what we're doing. Normally Sarah is here and she actually does a very good job breaking things down and uh, going into a little bit more detail on technique than she does in her, in her pre-recorded tutorials. Uh, so just, just know that. With me, I've got Suzanne Sperry, uh, sorry, Suzanne Aitchison, yeah. <laughs> Keenan's wife. <laughs> and uh, we've got Mary Bonnet here, good friend of mine. And we've got Nicole Santo in the back hanging out and also Keenan Aitchison behind the camera. I'm here. All right, so we're gonna do a couple warm-ups. Um, the colors that we're gonna use for this project, if you wanna use these for your warm-ups, are lemon yellow, deep blue, <clears throat> and fuchsia. So you go ahead and put some of that on your tray, put some of this over here. And we're just using the nice little butcher tray. Um, 
I like the butcher trays because as Sarah has taught me, if I put the colors on the edge, because the butcher tray is kind of bowed in the center. <laughs> How do you get the top? Yes, it's child proof. You child to proof. <laughs> so just like medicine. Like it, it might be Mary proof at the moment. <laughs> You're not the only one. We're working on getting caps oh, that aren't whoa, child proof. Small victory, right? So yeah, yeah, on the butcher tray, if you put them on the outside, then you can then work towards the center and your, all your colors usually won't, won't intersect. Here's the fuchsia. I'm loving Molly's comments. Brock is smart and funny. Get over it. Well. <laughs> Brock, you want to push your paint tray up a little bit? So you right here? Yes. Yeah, so okay. Thank you. Let me get some of this blue in here. I'm just letting you do it. I'm just gonna... um, Suz, you might actually have more experience in this than I do, but I'm going to pretend Not like much, I do. So. Tiny oh, need some deep blue? Please. All right, great. No, I'm just saying I'm letting you do the work. I'm oh, just yeah, no, gonna... that's fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. Observe. Okay. So the two things that we're going to do for our warm-ups uh, in this dandelion, we need to do a lot of light, very light, um, light lines. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our round two brush. We're using a round two and a round six as well. Uh, we're going to dip it into some water. And Sarah, if you, in the comments, you can uh, give us more tips if you need to. And I think I'm going to use. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica says, "How much paint do we put down?" I put down quite a bit since Suz and I are sharing. This stuff is pretty potent, and so you can a few drops will probably do for these warm-ups. Also, this paint, when it dries, can be reactivated with water. So if you put too much down, the next time you paint, you can just add some water and it's as good as new. So don't have to worry about wasting it. Okay. Are we doing a warm-up? Is that what Yeah, we're so we're gonna do the warm-ups. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try practicing some very thin lines. And so we're gonna take, dip our brush in water, knock off some of that water, bring some of this, uh, I'm gonna use blue. Bring it over here, kind of twirl my bristles around it a little bit. Yeah. Um, it looks like I'm doing something really it good. Really good. It looks good so far. I haven't touched the paper yet. Oh, we forgot the oath. No, we do the oath after the oh, warm-ups, okay. right? I see back there, warm -ups, intro, warm-ups, oath, oath right. paint. I'm okay. sorry. I will, I'll yeah. <laughs> it changes almost every Somebody week. said uh, there's oath comments. That's why. Oh, I we're going to do the oath. Confused. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So I've seen Sarah do this. Uh, I'm going to try it now. Very nervous, but it's just paint on paper, right? So we're going to try and be very light. And with the round two, light pressure, paint and water, and just, oh yeah. See that? That's good right there. That looks so good, bro. Well, thank you. So practice trying to get some nice thin lines. More water. I'll try that. I'll try anything right now. Okay. <laughs> so let's add some more water, drop it off on the side. Oh yeah, these are a little, these are thick, but I mean, I'm a thicker individual, right? So, hmm, hmm, okay. If I remember correctly, the best way was to like lay it flat. And lay it flat? Flip it over and lay it flat. So okay, it okay, like all right. I can get on the, I can jive on that. It's, it's been a long time. It's been a while? I did the Halloween cat, so it's been like two months. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe try a few shorter lines too, because for the uh, the little bits right here, well, I'll use the reference photo. For these little bits right here, we're gonna that's what we're gonna use these nice little thin lines for. So practice some some shorter lines. I was doing longer ones, but we should practice some shorter lines as well. That way, our dandelion Maybe seeds. Oh, any ideas? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna try some some smaller lines here. Ah. Oh, that was a good one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting good. You got this. Watch out, Sarah. There's a new sheriff in town. Can you do just a few more of those so we can get a nice close up, please? I need a little bit more water. I do know that if it starts to look a little like streaky like that, I've heard a little bit more water can help. So I'm going to try it. Stamens, that does sound very scientific. These might be the stamens. I didn't take botany. My wife took botany twice, so she could probably help us out. Take it twice? Uh-huh. She wanted to be extra sure. All right. <laughs> that almost looks like a dandelion in and of itself. Yeah, no, I, mean, I think that's a... Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Suz, how are you doing? Those are pretty nice thin lines. Thank I like you. your color there. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Appreciate that. Mary? That's good. I mean, that's really good. You know. Yeah, I mean, they're thin lines. I mean, it's right. not like you could do too much to it. Okay. It always totally <clears throat> makes it up. It really does. Okay, we're gonna take a couple of deep breaths. Hey, look at that Kansas City Chiefs colors. Kenny, can you see my tray? Do I need? Yeah, we can. Look Chiefs. at that beautiful. Now this was an accident because I didn't want my colors mixing, but we've got some delicious Kansas City Chiefs colors mixing right here. 
Oh, Judy says to hold my brush vertically. Oh, that's creamy. What a pro tip. <laughs> Molly says because she failed the first time. Listen, I wasn't going to say it. Okay. She admitted it. She just really enjoyed it. That's what she means. So uh, I think I feel pretty good about my, my thin lines for my stamens, as I've learned that they're called. So I'm going to rinse my brush out a little bit. That way the color doesn't sit in it. I think that's a good thing. Tap the water off the side, dry it off a little bit, and put it on my paper towel. Whoa, Kimberly, this is a family show. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, for these for these parts right here, the, uh, the part attached to the stamen, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put water down and then we're gonna drop color in. So I think another good warm up would be to take some water. That's true, it is science. A nice damp brush. All right, we're gonna use our nice uh, round six. I'm gonna put some water down here. Just a nice little circle. I want, it to be, I want it to be kind of wet, that way the paint can move around when it gets there. And I'm going to take some of this fuchsia yeah. on my brush, and I'm just going to kind of touch it. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm not even a pro painter, and that looks, oh, I love how it does wow. that. Look at that, Mary, isn't that awesome? How you can't, that? try to recreate okay. these textures on purpose would be impossible. That's one of the reasons I love watercolors, how they just, the water and the water, the paint just have a mind of their own. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna add another color. So blue, blue, I'm, gonna, blue. I'm gonna do a blue. Keenan, that's a really great idea. I'm going to uh, rinse my brush. Yeah, oh yeah, dip it in this, this nice blue paint here. This is the deep blue, right, it says? I you just really seem so. like you know what's going no, on. No, I don't. I'm gonna get a nice, nice little drop of paint there, here? and I'm gonna put... Is it deep blue? It is. Put another color there, and then there, right there. Lemon, Lemon yellow. yellow and just let those spread around and rinse my brush a little bit just have water on here and then kind of push this give it a little prod it a little bit kind of Sarah would say here little buddy hey there little fella there hi there little buddy come on go say hi to that fuchsia and I'm just gonna guide him right into there oh yeah look at those textures oh my goodness the purple just naturally starts to form oh that is dreamy that is dreamy okay <laughs> So this, this is obviously a lot bigger than what we're going to be doing on our, on our dandelion. Uh, but still, this gives us the idea of how these paint colors, when they hit water, um, move around. Interesting watching a lefty. Thanks. <clears throat> I do most things right-handed, but no one's taught me how to paint yet, so I just do it left-handed. I'm going to do another one more little water spot here. I'm going to put a little bit more water in. You convinced Nicole of that fact. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the support, Nicole. And I'm going to take some of this yellow that no one's taught me how to paint yet. Listen, I've watched a lot of tutorials, all right? I just haven't practiced enough. I'm going to put some of this yellow in here. And there was some blue in my water, so it's naturally starting to turn green. Yeah, you got some lefty. You got a, a lefty fan base on here. Well, that's good. That's really good. Some of the most creative people I know are lefty, lefties. Jenny Doan, left-handed. Yeah, I'm gonna put some of this yellow on the other side so that it's, since it's like contaminated with the... Yeah, no, that's a smart move, smart move. I think I'm also gonna put some blue in here because it gets some greens. In this project, we're only using three colors, but if you look at your dandelion, there are the colors of the rainbow, and so we're gonna need to practice mixing some of these colors so that we'll have all the colors in the dandelion. So I'm gonna add some blue here in hopes, and I'm gonna hope that I get some green in my little uh, my little water dot here. So see how this turns out. That's nice. Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, let's put that, drop that right in there. Maybe around the edge here. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's looking good, Brock. Well, <laughs> I work at an art store. <laughs> Yeah. So, you picked up a few things. Yeah, I hang out with Sarah Cray. You might have heard of her. <laughs> You're in there. Yeah. Ooh, I like how those mixed. That's oh, suds. Yellow. What is that? Pink and yellow? Yeah. Ooh, that is cool. That is nice. You're not too bad. Mary, how are you doing? I think okay. Yeah. Yeah, these are some really pretty colors. I love the vibrancy of these colors. When I heard that we were doing watercolors, my mind was always like the dull pastel-y type 
watercolors from the, the pan ones. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that sounds terrible. And I saw some of the art and I was like, I didn't know that watercolor could be so vibrant. And a lot of it is thanks to these, um, the liquid watercolors that are, are so much more vibrant. Okay, we've mixed, we've dropped in some color. We've done our, our lines here. I think we can move on to the oath. Oh, are we? First, I got it, I got are it. we on the right side of the paper? I, I think we are. Okay. If you need, we have more paper. I got it. Good nope, as new. We're good. Suzanne just had a close call, but luckily okay. we had our magic eraser handy, Ooh. and she was able to just take it right off. That was my own. Okay, so we're gonna take our warm-up sheets, set them to the which side. I'm just gonna Here. give mine to Suzanne, <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to hit up this oath. Okay. Repeat after me. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise not to compare my work. I promise not to compare my work. And I promise to have fun. And I promise to have fun. Good job, guys. I think that was right. Well, thanks. Okay, so I'm going to be using, just so everyone knows, I'm going to be following along with the step sheet that comes with the kit. So we're just going to be following these steps, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Thank you. Uh, for those of you that didn't hear, I put this apron on for two reasons. One, I wanted to protect this, my favorite blue shirt. It fits well. Uh, and then also my mother-in-law made me this apron for Christmas. It's got guitars and other manly things on it. Uh, and it's got my favorite color pink right here. So I thought it'd be very appropriate to wear on my first, my live paint along debut as they call it. So <clears throat> step one. We're going to start with the curved line, which will be the bottom of the dandelion. Now, as many of you have noticed, I'm left-handed. That curve looks very easy for a right-handed person. I think I'm actually going to do my dandelion left-handed, so it'll just look mirrored. Nice. But uh, that's okay. You guys are all very smart and can figure it out. What did she mix? Is it blue? <clears throat> I would say that's mostly blue. I'd say that's probably all blue. Okay. Um, the smooth side of the watercolor paper is the back. The very textured side is the front. The, the difference is very subtle. Mine was upside down, so thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mary, is yours right side up? Um, maybe. Let me see. Let me see this. It's better. It is better in the light. Sarah's taught me that much. That's, that looks good. That looks good. I don't, I don't mean to brag, but I checked my before. <laughs> I was like, this is upside down. Suzanne, I'm glad you're here. I'm just really grateful yeah. for you right now. You don't have to lie. You don't have to lie. Okay. So I'm pick up, I want this to be pretty dark. I'm going to pick up some paint. And I'm going to start okay. with the curved line, which will be the bottom of the dandelion. Okay. Pick up this paint. And then as soon as I have enough courage, I'm going to put it on the paper. You can do this. You got this, Rob. I can we do, all believe in you. I can do hard things. Okay. Just paint on paper, right? So I'm going to give this a nice, uh, a nice little shape here. Oh, she mixed a little of all the colors to make the lip? Yeah, I wonder. Well, well in that case, I'm going to bring some of this blue over here. <laughs> Suz, you want to bring some red to this I party? You. Some fuchsia, sorry. Oh, yeah, that's looking better already. Thank you to uh, Priscilla for the pro tip. Oh, yeah, that's not good at this. No, Suz, this is, ooh, th <laughs> this is turning out. This is hot. Can you get some more in there? I don't want to taint it with my. Very cool color. Yeah, nice. Not a warm color. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I love all these curves. Are you mixing over there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. We're good. Live on the edge, bro. Yes. Thank you, Sarah, for your help in the comments. Okay, that's good. I like this color, and it's my painting. I'm not going to add any yellow. I like yes. this. So, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to put this guy right here. <laughs> that looks fantastic. That looks fantastic. I'm not going to lie. This is this is pretty good. So far, Pro level. so far, this is pretty good. Okay. Now we need to create thin lines popping out of the center, going in all directions. Also, create a few petal-shaped lines. So this is the uh, the stamen. We're gonna paint, we're gonna do some stamen. 
Uh, and we're also going to do the little leaves that come, come down the bottom. Now, since I already have my round six, I'm gonna start with the little leaves that poke out down the bottom here. And I know from Sarah that with the round, you can start with a light pressure, push down a little harder and finish with light pressure, get that nice leaf shape. Or you can just trace it, trace a leaf shape and then fill in the center. So I'm gonna try the light, hard, light method and see if we get some good, uh, some good shapes here. Yeah, yeah, it's not, you know, it's not bad. It can only get better, Brock. I like the person that said, it's your painting, it's your life. You can do what you want. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, she knows what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you, Bernadette. So I've got a couple, I've got a couple of these nice little leaves here. Yeah, and you know, in nature, leaves are not super nice shape. They're, They're kind of funny. Unique. They're all unique. Yes. Just like all of you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So I'm gonna wash my brush after I've painted my little under leaves. Dry it off here on my little paper towel. Grab my round two, and I'm just gonna do some of those, no, you're good. Stabbed you with the brush. Listen, I'm tough, <laughs> thick skin. Um, I'm gonna grab my round two, and I'm gonna do some stamens with the same color, <laughs> thank you, Sarah, with the same color, it is my painting in my life. <laughs> with the same color I, I did my bottom part, I'm gonna do my stamen using the technique we learned earlier. So I'm gonna hold my brush straight up and down and do some light little wisps. And it looks like these don't connect to the bottom of your little bean shaped pod. They don't, they look like they're floating a little bit. I, I, we, we connect that later with the top of the dandelion. The fluffy part? I should have went to botany. <laughs> I'm really regretting this decision. So I'm just gonna give it some The sound effects are nice. Shwing. Yeah. Where's your sound effects, Mary? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Have some nice ones sticking out the side. This guy needs a haircut. Not today, dandelion. All right. <laughs> oh, straight up and down, straight up and down. I feel like sometimes they cross. I'm gonna have a, oh, I need some yeah. more. I need a little bit more water on that. It's starting to look a little broken up. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Maybe make these a little bit longer here. Yeah, this gets good there. Connect them up. This isn't a, you know, a photorealistic dandelion, so we can leave a little to the imagination, probably. Thanks for clarifying that. Well, I didn't want people to take this too seriously. It's not a, you're not painting a photo, you're painting a painting. You know, have you seen Picasso's paintings? I can't tell what they are, but they're worth a lot of money. So he was on to something. Okay. <clears throat> wow, Suzanne, would you look at our palette? I know, that's why I was like, um, I'm way more, put some red over here. I'm no. way more impressed by our or palette Shabusha. art than my dandelion. It looks like flames. It just looks amazing. Okay, Beautiful. but that's not why we're here. <sighs> okay, add areas of water and then drop in color. I started with fuchsia, and mix the colors as I added color across. So this is kind of like our warm up. We're gonna take, I'm assuming a round six, I'm gonna use a round six, and we're just gonna drop water in, little puddles of water, and we're kind of on the tip of our stamens here. Oh, I've got too much blue in there. We're gonna drop in some water there, like kind of paint the shape with water, and then we're gonna grab the color we want. She says she started with fuchsia, so I'll start with fuchsia. I've got no reason to doubt her at this point. And I'm gonna drop it in there. I'm gonna steal your painting. Oh, my reference photo? Yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm sorry. I will straighten that up. So I can drop it in. Okay, drop it in. I'm gonna let it spread out a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. And I probably should have painted a couple petals at once. That way I could mix them, let them mix and flow in the petals. So I'm gonna come up here and put some more water in. So you don't, oh, that's getting a little muddy, but that's okay. Red and blue are purple, yeah? Anybody? Should have explained the color wheel. The color wheel. Yeah. So I'm gonna nice put some more blue in here. Drop it 
drop those in. Yeah. Don't forget to wipe your damp brush. A yes. Tip from YouTube. Um, noted. Mary, can I have the fuchsia? Yes. It's. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just gonna put more over here so it's not a mix. Well, that's a good call. I should probably mix some of these in the palette too instead of just trying to mix them on my. So let's see. I'm trying to remember the rainbow. I'll try and get some green in here. So I'm gonna get some yellow. Well, this blue. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna drop that in here next to this. Get some of these green. Now, and Sarah, she has a little bit of white space that uh, kind of adds a little bit of texture, kind of add those little highlights. I've neglected to add white space on the <laughs> left side of my dandelion, but this dandelion story is not over yet. So uh, I'm gonna try to add some more white space to give it that uh, kind of look, the light is shining through or on it. Uh, to add some, some volume to it. Oh shoot, I just mixed it up. Mixed my blue and then... We have more water. I know. Just... Thanks for the encouragement, everybody. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna start getting some yellows in there, so I'm gonna get as clean a water on here as I can. Put some more. Some more water down. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let me get some of this yellow. I'll drop that guy in there. Let's see. <laughs> How you doing, Mary? I'm doing great. I'm trying to remember the Roy G. Biv. <laughs> the, color, the order the colors are. <laughs> My green is invading the yellow. No. no. It's yellow. The yellow is, it oh, just, it's so easily corruptible. Edgy. It's edgy. People are saying the dandel this dandelion story is not over yet. Should definitely be a t-shirt. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> Listen. Brock, Brock, if you could let that towel settle. Thank you, sir. Sorry. I'm just really into this. No, I know. It looks great. You're doing it a wonderful It does look great. Oh, no. I put green in the wrong spot. I'm stuck with it all looks. There have been a few suggestions that Brock start his own painting YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start my own paper company. <laughs> it's from the office. Oh, I swear it wasn't random. <sighs> Let's make more art. That's what I'm going to call it. Ooh. Yeah. Real original. Let's maybe make art. Let's make better art. Let's try to make art. <laughs> oh, Let's shoot. make art. But different. But different. But different art. <sighs> I feel like I'm getting progressively better at this, um, but uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Suzanne, you got some good color there. <laughs> Giving this guy an Thank afro. You. Oh, okay. I don't work. Don't remember having red, but apparently. <laughs> it's because the fuchsia and the yellow <laughs> created this nice red color. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. I am not mad about it. Good quote. I just was, I just, man, we did not use red in this project. Where'd this red come from on my palette? It's because my colors mix themselves. Oh, man. Good times, people. Thanks for joining. Thanks for staying. And like I said, I promise next time you come, Sarah will be here. And she is actually a fantastic artist and will provide you with actual helpful advice. Um, but this is, we're giving, we're doing our best to give Sarah a break. So thanks for having fun with us. Just dropping in some more water here. I'm gonna try to get some actual fuchsia. Say it, Brock, say it, living on the edge. I can't, not yet. Waiting for the right time. Okay.
It's got to feel natural. I love how your dandelion looks right now, but I can't wait to see that it's finished. It does look good. It does. It does look good. Well, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Yeah, we really did get like a red. Yeah, it's like very red. <laughs> Pro tip, fuchsia and yellow is a very nice red. Yeah. Kind of a warm yeah. red. I don't know if that's a pro tip, <laughs> but it is a good tip. Amateur <laughs> tip. <laughs> if you let your colors accidentally mix. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Man. I feel like I almost have a dandelion mullet. <laughs> going on right here some very like muted adult colors at the top and then it just goes party in the back so i'm that's just what i'm seeing here maybe projecting a little bit of myself <laughs> okay i'm feeling pretty good i might try to up, pump up the volume on this on this left side here try to blend out those edges move this color around <laughs> My purple and my red, I didn't get a good purple. Yeah, just add some of that white space I neglected earlier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brocken in the free world. Brock down to Electric Avenue. <laughs> Somebody said Brock on. <laughs> Molly, wow. Molly said, uh, you're a Brock star. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> oh. Sarah says, Brock, don't you dare start your own. You'll run me out of business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think you're safe, Sarah. I'm going to add some of this purple we used earlier. I'm going to add a little bit of water here. I'm going to add some of that purple. A little bit of this guy right here. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put it right here. I don't have a statement there, but I'm gonna put one there. Good enough. Good enough for me. Okay, I'm getting pretty close. It looks like a rainbow wig. That is very true. Mm -hmm. That's very true. Oh, shoot. All right, okay. Just, uh, looks like I used a completely different palette on one side than the other. Got some nice FedEx colors here. Colors. Yeah, you do. I do. That's you very really FedEx-y. Okay. Suzanne, fantastic texture. I love your edges. Those are good. I'm Those are good. trying to mimic what's happening here. Mary, how are you doing? It's really I'm hard. working. Mary, this color right here is gorgeous. You know, I tried my hardest. I don't even it know. It really is gorgeous. Suz, what would you call that color? It's like a... a, a aquamarine? Yeah. Ooh. It sounds so fancy. Well, yeah, it does. I've learned several. <laughs> I've learned several new colors since I've worked here. Oh, have you know? Yeah, I just love that color. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about the uh, the wig on my dandelion here. <laughs> the mullet. <laughs> and I'm gonna see. I'm gonna read these next directions here. It's just like cooking a good meal. I've got a good recipe here. Brock, my world. Thanks, Caleb. <laughs> Add in stem and drop in a little bit of color. Just use water to spread the color. It was already there. Okay. So I am going to use my round two for this stem because my thin lines are pretty thick already. So no use in, no use in trying to use a, a round six for this. I'll just use my round two here. Get some more of my color. I will do the same. That sounds good. Yeah. I'm going to follow your lead. I'm going to see what happens. And this dandelion isn't just going straight. It's kind of curving. So I'm going to try and give it a little curvy line. And uh, here goes nothing. It's just paint on paper. Whew. Oh man, I needed more water. <laughs> You'll notice here that um, it started to get dry there and it wasn't a smooth line. If you add water to your brush, you should be able to smooth that right on out. Oh yeah, that's looking way better, way better. Kind of thicker on the end, I think is how it works. I think I do better with the ones where there's an outline. But that's okay. Well, I'm venturing into new things. This is the first and you're doing time. fantastic. I'm an outline. I'm so proud. Says so I'm proud of you. Thank you. I've known you for a long time. This is just great. Although you do have a fantastic monster, uh, not monstera, monarch on your fridge. Yeah, I, I was proud of that. that Lisa, was the first one I did. Lisa Bartlett coming in strong with Broccolicious and Broccleberry. Ooh. You know me well, Lisa. Those are some high school flashback nicknames. 
<laughs> now I'm gonna put I'm gonna add some water here to my stem and I'm gonna drop in some colors maybe a little yeah. bit of that red that I made which is just yellow and fuchsia and I'm just gonna move that around a bit dandelion stems kind of have a weird color probably it's been a while since I've looked at one Joyce on YouTube is on a business trip and has tuned in only to watch Brock paint. <laughs> wow, well, pleasure is all mine. Pleasure. <laughs> okay. I kind of like that stem. I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm going to just smooth out some of these edges here, but other than that, I kind of like the look of that. I think I've seen a dandelion under the stem like that. Yeah, kind of like a reddy, yeah. weird color. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, now I really want to go see a dandelion, but there's not a lot of living things not right now. around Hamilton these days. It's very cold, very brown. You'll have to report back. Yep. <laughs> that looks really good. Oh, stop no, it. seriously. <laughs> well, okay. I don't say that with surprise. I'm just saying. I did watch, <laughs> I did watch, the, I watched the tutorial today in preparation. <laughs> Once, help? Well, it did. Once Sarah said she was sick and I thought I might actually have to do this, I thought, well, I should watch the tutorial. <laughs> and, uh, and I did. And it helped. Okay, so I've got a stem. I've got some little side <laughs> leaves. I must have missed a joke there. I got a stem. I got some side leaves. I got some stamens. We got another suggestion for a name. Brocky Kong. Wow. Because of the muscles. Yeah, I know the muscles for sure, for sure. I've, yeah, well, that's, a, that's a very obvious one, right? Okay. So now what we need to do is add the splatters. Does anyone know the difference between splatters and spatters? Because no. I don't, and I, I know that a blood spatter expert looks at, the, looks at the, uh, the crime scenes and looks at the blood spatters or splatters, but then obviously splatters are a thing, so I don't know the difference. If somebody knows, that'd be interesting to hear. How do you know that little tidbit? I watched Dexter. Oh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna take a paper towel here and I'm going to cover the important bits of my dandelion, <coughs> just like so. I kind of want it. Reminds me of broccoli. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Some of these comments are fantastic. Thank you for that, everybody. Now, if I remember correctly from the tutorial, I'm just gonna moisten my brush. I'm gonna get some color here. And I believe the uh, preferred technique is you take the brush and uh, oh boy. you just hit it. <laughs> The apron comes in handy. Hit it against your finger. I did not get an apron though. No. Just like that. Oh my goodness. That is looking fantastic. This table's gonna need a good sanding. But uh Would you like the difference between spatter and splatter. Yes. A car tire runs through a puddle or a kid cannonballs into a pool. Both of those splatter the water. Okay. Spatter is used to describe those drops that have landed on the surface. Oh. The spattering of rain refers not so much to the liquid which is falling, but its visible effect on the pavement. I don't know if I'm less confused or more confused, but thank you yeah. for sharing. You are spattering, not splattering, because you're not splashing in the ink, you're throwing it on the paper. Well, look, I don't get a lot of things right, but I knew about that. That's a good one, Bob. Fun <laughs> fact, impress your friends. if you're at the bar playing trivia with your friends, this might win you the trophy. Someone was asking to cover your phone. Eh. It'll wash. It looks better with paint. <laughs> Apple could learn a thing or two. Oh, whoops, that was a weird splatter. I got a little excited. <gasps> that looks really cool. <laughs> that looks like I killed someone. Wow. Thank you, Google. Who's to say I have? No! Oh, <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> I don't want to be next. So what we're doing is we're just, I'm just moistening my brush, dipping it straight in color, and then giving it the old, the old one, two, and, uh, 
Fun fact, dandelions mainly stay on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, we want dandelion facts, not and, splatter facts. Until no, wait, the seeds we float away. There's a fact. Do you want to push your painting out of skosh? Oh, I'm sorry, people. No, it looks fine. It just looks really great a little further. No, oh, what is this color? I like that color. Yeah, I used that. That's a good color, Suze. Splattering. Mary, you've got some good splatters. How do you get such thick splatters? My splatters are all very dainty. More water, maybe? More water? Maybe. Maybe? I'll try that. I just want some good thick splatters. With this nice color he made, says. That was good. I'm going to stop because I get excited. Oh, that is such a pretty color. Okay. You guys just let me know when you want a fact and I'll throw it out. Yeah, no, yeah, go for it. The dandelion is the only flower that represents the three celestial bodies of the sun, moon, and stars. Is this a fact? It is. Uh, mm. The yellow flower resembles the sun. Okay. The puffball <laughs> resembles the moon. And the dispersing seeds resemble the stars. Huh. Very cool. Interesting. How fun. <clears throat> okay, I have got a lot of spatter here. Mm -hmm. I feel that's so colorful. That's just going to brighten up your day. It really is. Okay. Wet fingers. Oh, those are probably... More water for bigger splatters. Probably some big drops. Okay, so I'm going to clean my brush off here. Nice and clean. Just going to beat the devil out of it. <laughs> and then I'm going to put it on this paper towel here. <laughs> Next step. Turn a couple of splatters into seeds. So what oh. she does here is she takes a nice wet brush. I'm just going to wet it down. And then she picks a couple of good spatters and adds a little bit of water to it and gets it nice and colorful. Aww. I might add a little color to that just so it shows up a bit more. <clears throat> and there's a little fella right there. And then I'm going to pick another one. Oh, I want one of these yellow ones. Hopefully I can do this. Can I use your yellow water? Is that okay? Go, go for it. I just want to, I didn't want to dip my brush in your water without asking. I, oh. I appreciate that. We need it. Oh, snap. No, it's okay. We can, we can go back. Good call, Suz. Well, it was a, a comment. Good call, Ashley Mills. I'm not that observant. But you observed the Facebook comment. I did. That was my job. That's what you told me to do. And Don't you forget the service. did it swimmingly. Thank you. So I've got a yellow one, I've got a little blue one. We've got a few of these in various degrees of being blown off of the, sounds so violent, of f flying away from the dandelion. Spreading more dandelion. Yeah, no, it's just doing its, doing its little reproductive thing here. And she kind of coordinates her colors with the area of the dandelion. I didn't really do that that well, but that's okay. It looks like this red one's coming from the green. That's okay. Yeah, yeah I like it. It'll be okay. cool. We don't know how the wind current goes. <laughs> yeah, we really don't. We really don't know. We don't know the story of this dandelion. It would be bad for us to judge. Yeah. Yeah, Keenan, you're right. Thank you for grounding me. You're welcome. I'm going to add a little bit of purple right here. I'm having like Pocahontas vibes right now with Tanked with all the colors of the wind. If we could play uh, copyright nope. music, I'd I know. Pull it up real I know. Quick. I'm not trying to. That lesson today. I don't want to get a shut down again. <clears throat> if I were a better singer, I'd just sing it for you, but yes. you don't want that. Colors of the wind. Yeah. I think I might just stop with. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. What the heck? Let's get crazy. All right. Let's get crazy. One right up here in the corner. He is just on the vanguard of dandelion recreation. Look at the textures in this pan. Oh my gosh, just look look Pretty. at that color. Oh, that is so really neat. This pan is just fantastic. Keenan, do you see that? Can you, does the top down see this pan? Just it's so pretty. These colors are so pretty. All right, oh yeah. Nice, nice light purple there. All right. Okay, yeah, I think I'm good there. Mary, how you doing? Oh man, you have that green right there is really nice. I like that a lot. No, I do my best. The green blue hues I think are probably my favorite. <laughs> other than just straight pink. Okay, okay. 
Saz, how you doing? Pretty good. Yeah, you are doing pretty. Thanks. Pretty, no, I, should, I just said thanks before you even said anything. <laughs> doing pretty well. That usually covers it <laughs> Okay. <laughs> So in step four, I forgot to add the top of the dandelion. So we're going to go back and we're going to, we're going to add that. Um, so what it looks like what she did is she just took water. I'm going to use my nice blue purple water. And she just moved down the paint that was already there to kind of um, <coughs> add some color to that white spot. So see how I'm, oh my oh, goodness. That is nice. I'm going to blend out that line a little bit. Oh, that is nice. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm way better at this than I thought I was. So that's nice. Much more confident now than I was at the beginning. But honestly, I think that happens to a lot of people in our group. Uh, if you are new to this and you found us on our Facebook group, Let's Make Art, we also have a second Facebook group called Let's Make Art Together. It's a private group, uh, so you have to ask to join. But that means that you can feel free to share your art in there and everything, and it won't be public all over your, your public Facebook for your friends to see and judge. Uh, the Let's Make Art Together is a very supportive group. Um, you can put your art in there and everyone will tell you what they think and how great it is and everything. You can look at other people's and be very supportive. And I know a lot of people uh, in that group weren't artists before and they found Let's Make Art and were able to find a new hobby that they, they really appreciate. And uh, if you aren't a member of that, I would suggest you go join because it really is amazing to see people that uh, that put themselves out there and just to see the support that there is in the community. It probably is like the happiest, most supportive place on the internet. So you should check that out. Okay, let's see. I've got, I've added some color there. I've let it blend. I've got a nice pretty thing there. I'm going to <clears throat> take my round two and I'm gonna extend some of my stamen into the center of my dandelion. So these, these lines right here, if you look at this step, and then also on this reference photo, sorry. You can see that some of these stamen extend into the center of the dandelion. And so I'm going to take my round two and get some of that purple color from the beginning here. And I'm just going to bring some of these, not all of them, but some of them down into the center here. Maybe add a little bit darker purple there so it sets it apart. Yeah, sure, something like that. Something like that. It's okay. You get it, you're getting a whole lot of love for that apron. Whole lot. I know Marie Boyle's not watching this because she's not one to uh, watch a lot of YouTube or Facebook, but shout out to Marie Boyle. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to now take my round two. And I think this is going to be our last step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this darker purpley blackish dark color and I kind of I probably want it a little darker and I'm going to put the bottoms on my dandelion bits. What do you seeds? Seeds. Yeah. seeds. <clears throat> I'm going to put the dark part on the bottom of my seeds and then with the dandelion seeds, I'm just, I'm just going to go over you again. Go. You can tell that there's a thin stem and we've I think we've all seen a dandelion probably. Uh, but there's a thin stem and at the end where it was stuck into the dandelion, it's thicker there. So, we're going <laughs> to, Keenan, what's the last step? I'm going to say details. Nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I just want to give you that chance to be right for once. Thank you. Sarah never gives me that chance. Well, careful, she'll fire you from the comments. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that little drop of darkness at the bottom of these and then we're going to pull down and then put a little, a little nubbin at the end. And Sarah, you did a really good job on this. It's so did. pretty. Yours is too <laughs> They're both great. They're all good. I'm, I'm not comparing. They're both really great. What do we do it again? So we're going to take some dark, dark paint, kind of like you use for that center. Okay. And we're going to add the bottoms to our little seeds and then the little seed stems. Okay. So if you see here, you see how they have their little gotcha. seed stems there? Okay. Awesome. Okay. I kind of want this to be dark. So how do we make this dark? Dark. <laughs> 
the You're scaring me right now. <laughs> all the Chiefs colors. Yes. Make a Vikings color? No. Chiefs are always disappointing, <laughs> though, so I'm a little worried. Are you a Vikings fan? No. Oh, no. The color They're not going to be disappointed. Patrick Mahomes, if you're watching this, I do enjoy watching you. <laughs> yes. You are an entertaining quarterback. That yeah. left-handed pass, oh, really spoke to me. So good. Okay. This one looks like a guitar. I'm not mad about that. No. Guitars are great. Yeah. I just played a guitar today. It was a really lame story, but I did. Do you have time to tell it again? <laughs> <laughs> it was just time I played this guitar. Oh, man. Dandelion's got to have nubbins. Ooh, I like the word nubbins. Where does one get a butcher tray? Sally Smith, so glad you asked. Um, those, we do sell them on our website. We were out of stock on the butcher trays for a long time. Um, we now have several thousand. Um, we are still working on getting the round twos and round sixes in. We sold all the ones in the United States, and so we had to get more made. Um, but those should be in. In the third week in January, we should be able to sell round twos and sixes again. So thank you for your patience. Ooh, you got an Eagles fan in there. They're gonna have an Too bad you're not an Eagles fan this season. <laughs> so funny story while I'm painting, we'll see if I can multitask. I'm an Eagles fan, I was an Eagles fan, and last year I had a friend of mine, he's a Browns fan, and he said, he said, if the Eagles win the Super Bowl, you have to be a Browns fan for a year. And well, let's be honest, the Eagles had never won a Super Bowl and they weren't looking super hot. And so I took the bet. Lo and behold, the Eagles won the Super Bowl. So this fan, this year I'm actually a Browns fan, uh, but normally I'm an Eagles fan. So fun fact, go Browns. Go Browns. <laughs> Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Looking good. <laughs> Stop it. It's like a dream team up in here. It really Seriously. is. It really is. Good idea, Sarah. It all worked out. Yeah. Turns out she can leave and it'll be okay for a day. Sherry, this is your first time, and I'm almost a little sorry. Uh, I'm glad you had a good time. Promise next week you'll learn a lot more. Sarah does a great job. And she's, she's also really funny, so don't worry. It'll still be funny. You'll just also learn something. Lori from Cleveland, go Browns. <laughs> How's everyone feeling? I think really good. Sorry, I dropped the ball. Uh, RDC on YouTube, our friend from the YouTubes, says that I need to tell you to drop the color on the stem. Thanks, fella. You're welcome. <laughs> drop okay. the color on the stem. Well, I'm not touching this. This is good. Uh, I feel good about this, and uh, I don't think I need to touch it anymore, except for maybe put my initials on here, because that way I want people to know who painted this. So, Nicole, any tips on how to do just a quick initial with a round two? Do a Q, a what? Just a quick like BB. Smooth, it's fat on the up or fat on the down? Thick on the down. Thick on the down, thin on the up for yes. letters. Thick on the down. And then the first part of the B thick. And then wrap up. And then a little bit thicker on the right side of your B. Yeah. We'll do it around. Okay? Yeah. Excellent job. <laughs> I saw that. I don't know. Brock Barton. There we go. That works. Sorry, it was thick on the what? Thick on the down, thin on the up. Thick on the down, thin on the up. Little hand lettering thick tip I learned from my friend Nicole, who is pretty good at that kind of stuff. Which you can learn the, the bonus project. That's right. Our January bonus project has... Or you can go back. Some hand lettering. Also, our Give Thanks project from November has some hand lettering, mm -hmm. where Nicole gives you some pretty good, pretty good tips on how to write some pretty sweet sayings. And December. And December, the ornaments, that's right. Man, she's all over the place. OK. Wow, that's a really good MB. I've had some practice. Visa? 
Visa. my initials, not Visa, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> okay. You can do the pan, show your steps. Yes. I'm afraid it's going to drip, so I'm not going to. Oh, wait, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you ready for the slow pan? Hold on. I was ready for the slow pan. Here, here. Let me mop this up just a tiny bit. There we go. So it doesn't drip. <clears throat> Mary, I think you're first on the slow oh, pan. Okay. Oh, you're first, Mary. You got ah! this. Wait, I haven't showed it yet. Oh, sorry. Now gotta... we go. Now we got to oh, see Oh, you're about to drip. Mary. You're about oh, to drip. The blue oh. one at the top's about to drip. Oh. We'll, we'll oh, stop. Yeah. Away. <laughs> <laughs> There's Brock with his smiling face. And Suzanne, there it is. Look at those. Oh, look at those dandelions. Well done, everyone. Look this was a good time. Yes. This was a good time. Maybe I'll try this one again while watching the tutorial. Uh, but... Thank you, everyone, for joining. Again, um, we do this every Tuesday night. We have a live paint along. Sarah's coming. Sarah. Oh, and we have to. I'll do that. I'll do that at the end. Thank you for joining. Um, I'm going to show the next project. Uh, but again, I just want to say. Uh, you have a picture of it? I have one. <laughs> I will get it. Okay. I was just going to get it. Everything right. is under control. <laughs> Deep breaths. <laughs> Thank you for joining. <laughs> Join us on uh, our, our Facebook group, Let's Make Art, Let's Make Art Together. Uh, we're on Instagram, Let's Go Make Art. All the supplies, these kits, you can buy at letsmakeart.com. We release the tutorials every Wednesday with a live paint along of that project the following Tuesday. Um, next week, let me go grab one. No, we've got one. We've got one. <laughs> Keenan, tell a joke. Every part of the dandelion is useful. Leaves, leaves, flowers. They can be used for food, medicine, and dye for coloring, which is perfect for the painting. Okay. And we're back. So I'm going to pull out this little little guy here. The, uh, the barn owl, this beauty right here, is what we'll be working on next. So make sure you join in for that. It's going to be fantastic. You all are great, and you can do hard things. Appreciate you coming. And uh, anything else? Anything else for anybody? I have nothing to add, Brock. I can't. I'm going to try this. Bye. <laughs> Hold it for like 10 seconds. Yeah.